Hey everyone, today we're gonna to be showing you how to pair or connect your Bluetooth headphones to your Windows 10 computer in the settings in Windows 10. It's really easy to do. And maybe you got some new headphones and you wanna connect them so you can listen to music. Or if your headphones have a microphone in them like these ones do, we'll show you how to set that up so you can use them with the microphone. So stick around to the end. I'm gonna show you a couple different options on these Sony ones. Yours might be a little bit different if you have a different brand, but you should be able to figure it out with these instructions today. But hey, if you're new here, my name is Ken and this is Northern Viking Everyday. And we bring you videos on reviews and how to's. So please consider subscribing so you don't miss out on any upcoming videos. Let's go ahead and jump over to my Windows 10 desktop and get connecting these headphones. All right, so here we are on my Windows 10 computer. And one thing I should mention is that not all computers come with Bluetooth. The one I'm using right now didn't actually come with Bluetooth. I had to buy a little dongle or adapter that just fits into the USB plug. And that allowed my computer to have Bluetooth in it. Now, if you're interested in one of those, I'll put a link below to Amazon where you can pick one up for yourself. It was made by TP-Link and it was quite inexpensive. All right, here on my desktop, the first thing we need to do is go ahead and open up the Bluetooth settings. So in order to do that, you can go down here to the search bar and just start typing in Bluetooth. And you'll see an option right here that says Bluetooth and other device settings. You could go ahead and left click on that. If you're not seeing this search bar in the bottom left hand corner, you can go to your start menu here in the bottom left and just hover up to the little gear icon right above it right here. And you'll see an option that says settings, left click on settings. That's gonna open up your Windows settings for you. And we're looking for the option right here for myself, it says devices. You can go ahead and left click on devices and that's gonna open up your Bluetooth and other devices settings. So once we're in here, we can go ahead and make sure our Bluetooth is turned on. It says Bluetooth right here and there's a little toggle switch. You can turn that off and on right here. Make sure your Bluetooth is turned on. Now I'm gonna switch over here. The next thing we need to look at is how to get our headphones into pairing mode. So all Bluetooth devices, I believe, have what's called pairing mode. That allows them to be discoverable by your computer so they can talk to one another. Now on these Bluetooth headphones, I actually have to hold down the power button for probably about five or six seconds and the blue light will start flashing here and it'll tell me that it's in pairing mode inside the headphones. That's how you do it on the Sony ones. If you have a different brand of headphones, it might be a little bit different. You might have to do a quick Google search for how to get your headphones into pairing mode or if you still have the instructions, I'm sure it'll stay in there. Stay in there. So just double check on that before you go on to the next step. Now let's switch back here. From here, we need to go ahead and click on this add Bluetooth or other devices button here at the top. It's a plus sign. You can go ahead and left click on that. That's gonna open up a new window for you. And it's gonna give you a few different options here. We're looking for the one here at the top that says Bluetooth, mice, keyboards, pens here, um, and other Bluetooth devices. We'll go ahead and left click on that. And it's gonna start looking for our Bluetooth headphones. So now we need to go ahead hold down the button on here and get it into pairing mode or however you have to do it on your device. I'm gonna just wait for it to start blinking blue. There we go, it kind of beeped inside and it's blinking blue right now. And all of a sudden devices are gonna start popping up here. So you can see um, it found this one right here and it also found this one right here, which is the one we're looking for. And the reason I know that is because it actually has a little logo of a headphone right next to it, right under my red circle there. Whereas this one does not. And we wanna go for the one that says audio here. So mine are the XB900N Sony's and those are the ones we're wanting to connect. So I'm gonna just go ahead and left click on that. And you can see it says connecting there. It says connected with music. I've even got a pop up here in the bottom right hand corner where it says setting up device. So we'll just let that do its setup there. Now we do wanna move into being able to select these. So there's a couple different things here. This, these headphones actually give us two modes. There's one for listening to stereo music only, and there's one for being able to talk. So we wanna show you how to select that as well. So these are all connected here. Um, if I go down to my little speaker icon in the bottom right hand corner and just left click on that, and you'll see that my headphones are connected. So if I just click on here where it shows the headphones, you're gonna see all sorts of different options. Now, there's one option here that says headphones XB900N stereo. That's only for listening to music on these. 
If I scroll down, I'm gonna see another option that says hands-free AG audio. So that's the one I need to use if I wanna be talking and using the mic on here. So not all headphones will have that option, but that's definitely something to take into consideration. The other thing is, let me just open up Discord here. If you are um, gonna be using a service like Discord or maybe Skype or I don't know, Zoom, something like that. You may have to go in here and select your output device. Again, the same thing, um, select whichever headphones they are. If you are gonna be talking, you might have to pick the hands-free ones. Um, right now I have this microphone selected, which is the one I'm talking on right here. But if I wanted to use the microphone in the headphones, I'd have to find the input device here and select the hands-free headphones right there. So it's really that simple to connect your headphones to your Windows 10 computer, but just go make sure that in the software you're using that you have the right um, output and input devices selected if you're gonna use the voice and the headphones feature. So I hope this quick tutorial was able to help you get your Bluetooth headphones connected to your Windows 10 computer. If it did, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Also, if you're interested, I have created a video on the TP-Link Bluetooth adapter that you plug right into your computer. It's really easy to use. I'll have that link below in the description. Also remember to connect with me on social media. You'll find all those links below as well. Thank you so much for watching today and until next time, take care.